The views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views or positions of the Black Lincoln Collective, its guests, or decent human beings. You have been warned. The robot revolution will begin in 3, 2, 1. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Alive. It's alive. It's alive. Welcome to the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. Oh, this is going to be fun. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'll make it pop. With your host, Parker. Featuring the sultry sounds of Fred and also Alan on the board. Let's go already! And now, let's start the damn show. That was gross. I didn't know. Mine was real. Uh, <laughs> welcome. Oh, no, I'm just going to have might have been. I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'll never tell. <laughs> but, <you'll> smell. <laughs> but I will smell. <laughs> welcome, welcome, one and all, to the 84th edition. 84. Ah, I was pretty close. Oh, of the Black Lincoln Collective podcast. We're so glad you joined us tonight. We got a very special show for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. You got your uh, real time with Dr. Uh, Al. Voice are we on. really glad that you joined us? We're always glad. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm glad. I, okay, so honestly, after last week, like <laughs> the shit show that I feel like <laughs> the leprechaun was, <laughs> I feel like if anybody came back, that's really, a really. <laughs> yes, actually, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> That's all. It was just not the tips. It was I'm saying, thing, sometimes you, know? you got to shovel through the shit to get to the you know, goal. Well, man. and you think, you know, you got an idea. It's kind of like Saturday Night Live for a while. Oh, yeah. speaking of, okay, so welcome to the show, Fred, of course. And okay, me. That's it. And welcome, Alan. Okay. A-T- A- uh, T-O-B, so, I'm sorry. Well, like for a while there, Saturday Night Live would be like, they would think of a premise. Right. And it would just be like, that's the premise of the skit. Let's just make it seven minutes of that. <laughs> of like the guy has a a, a fucking thing on his head no, or no. whatever. I know, like the, the the cutting the vegetables and you cut your finger, and right. like the skeeting blood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but see, the, it does come back around though eventually and get funny again. That's the <laughs> yeah, thing about yeah. it. It's like too many cooks. You've seen too many right. cooks, right? Yeah. If you haven't seen too many cooks, seriously, pause the pause this. Too many right cooks, and then <laughs> many no, cooks. you can't say I should have said it because now it's going to be in my <laughs> head all night. <laughs> But like, if you haven't seen it, watch it. It's eleven yeah. minutes that you you won't regret. You will regret. At yeah, time. you'll regret it. But but then toward the end, you're like, I don't regret this. But by, I by also minute, wish it was over. By minute six, you're like, oh my goodness, dude. By minute like three, I was like, oh, what is happening? It never ends. Yes. And that was like at three o'clock in the morning when I first watched it. Oh yeah. And I woke up and it was on, and I was like, yeah. What the hell? And you're just like, what am I? It like it like breaks your head. Yeah, because it goes on for so long and you can't not sing it all the time. <laughs> so I just stopped singing it literally yesterday and now it's back. Yeah, yeah. But no, it's okay. Now it's awesome. So watch Too Many Cooks. Of course, watch um, us on YouTube as well. That's Brad, right. I almost bought us a TV. Dot TV today dot TV. <laughs> so we can make our own TV channel. So get ready. <laughs> we might make our own TV channel, fellas <laughs> and ladies and everybody else. I don't we got know. Enough, we got enough video. We be we, okay, right? but see, here's the thing. So what if we just constantly, what if, okay, what if we start a business? Right. It, it's not a business. And yeah. then we like wear those like body cams that people always wear. Like, right. God. And then we just record our day and live stream it. It would be the Dude, there boring is a site show. like that. There I'm sure there, it's called like OnlyFans. No, uh-uh. No, 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 no. It's like a real it's site. Like, watch like, me be boring. It's boring. like a real Where, site. No. <laughs> um, Friends Andy Dick was shit. involved in it. <laughs> you said Dick. Like, I watched just, a documentary on Andy Dick and, you like, you know how he spiraled. You watched it literally while you were sitting on Andy Dick. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Disgusting. Just but it. it's like. Just clarifying for the listeners. They can't see your hands. You stream, you stream live. All the time. All the time. And like these people like found Andy Dick like in the street or whatever, and they were in it. They were doing this shit, and like yeah. they started and like, exploiting him for like views. 
They would like keep him trapped in a fucking house. Like he had to, he had, wouldn't, let to wouldn't let him leave. Wouldn't let him leave. He knows Shit. that they were. Yeah, he was. He, I, he was in on it too. I mean, I guess he was getting money or whatever. But like, no, nah, it's real messed up. Like, so people like just thought Andy, that they like encountered Andy Dick and then like tricked him into d- in different scenarios. Yeah, and then that, it was like, like two that's just part of their people, regular life. It was two groups of people like on the same like um, website doing yeah. the same thing, and they were kind of like fighting over <laughs> Andy, Andy Dick. Dick. Yeah, yeah, they were both <laughs> trying to fight over Andy Dick. Like, who's gonna <laughs> get Andy Dick? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get him on odd days and every third yeah. weekend. Yeah, you you can have him for two weeks in the summer. <laughs> and you can trap him in whatever you want. <laughs> like, go ahead and have him fight but, a, a meth addict. Fuck, why not? Yeah, yeah. And that's what he was doing. Like he was like because he was pretty crazy. down and out. Yeah, uh, he man. Down and he out got still. on drug. Yeah. yeah, is he still down and out? I oh, thought he. Yeah, had, man. He, he got arrested last. I heard he got arrested. Man, uh, come on, Andy Dig. Breaking into like an unfinished house. And trying to like live in it and say that it was his, like y'all there just working on it, and I'm getting Did he stuff say, through like, my I'm Andy Dick. I'm Don't Andy you remember Dick. me? <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be the dick heaviest show we've ever done. I'm not. I'm not Tom Green. I'm Andy Dick. <laughs> right. Remember me from like that other thing that I wasn't that funny in? I was what saying. was he? What was? Would you say his most famous thing was? I mean, he was on like a comedy show. Yeah, but didn't he have like the Andy Dick Bro. show or something like that? He did have the Andy Dick show, but like, as far as like movies and stuff like that, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even know, know what Andy what, Dick was in. He was on, he was on a bunch of stuff. Um, he had he his, was a yeah. comic. Yeah, and he was I, on the I, Ben Siller show. He's from Charleston, South Carolina. Did you know that? Is he really? Don't claim that. I, I didn't claim him. Don't move here. <laughs> <laughs> so he was, uh, he was on Letterman, I guess, for a while. Ben yeah. Siller. And he did some yeah, in the army now. In the army remember, now, yeah, yeah. yeah I remember he was in, in the Long army Water now. and Inspector yeah. Gadget. Dude, where's my car? So, and he was in Zoolander. There you go. Yeah. Um, which is a great movie. Was but, he in Zoolander? I, yeah, I think he just had like a bit part. I think he just had like probably. A, you know, he's Andy Dick. He was probably like one yeah. of the people there, you know. And they're like, it's, "There's Andy Dick." And news radio was like where he yeah, really he was good. Kicked it off. Yeah, but that's I, where he really not a huge fan anyway. But yeah, hope no. he gets his stuff straight. Yeah, because maybe you feel bad for people who you know get in that situation. <laughs> However, I mean, but you do it to yourself, so yeah. sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you do it to a litany of other people, Uh-oh. which is like the biggest mm-hmm. news story coming out of South Carolina since what? Probably the Confederate flag fiasco. Oh yeah, is the murder, murder, the murder, murder. The murder, murder. The murder, murder. Do it in my southern accent. <laughs> the murder, butcher that murders. too. Uh, I'm butcher that too. I'm butchering <laughs> all of, like a murder. Is that going to become like the new rural girl? Yeah, it is. The murder, murder. <laughs> the oh murder, my murder. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I'm a girl. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. The I'm a girl. Girl. I'm a real girl for the murder, murder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a girl. I'm a girl. <laughs> and I was doing that for about 10 minutes when I heard it. I was like, oh, shut the fuck up. Yeah, please do. I agree with you. Oh I agree with Alan on this one. <laughs> too many cuts. Yeah, too <laughs> many cuts. Um, um, but yeah, but yeah man, so like, did you see, obviously, the world is a lit aflame by the announcement of like the guilty on... They said like 700 years is what he could be. <laughs> like the mag sentence. That's 700 crazy. years. I don't know. Soccer, I got death penalty, though. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah but they they'll mean. still. But I'm saying they could be like, okay. But right. 700 years, is that's still yeah. pretty. Dude, I mean, it's not like he can serve it. No, I mean. But so how does it's that just work? like you're never well, getting out. You're never getting Right, you're just. Dude, yeah, you you're know, know, so does dead. the state say, hey, all right, we've had him in custody for 700 years and bill we you for 700 him. years? Probably. Mm hmm. Put them I don't, they bill you if somebody goes to jail? Yeah, the state makes money off of them. Well, I mean, that's because, yeah, yeah. they, no, they yeah, make money they, off the inmates. Yeah, but I mean, they don't bill you. Like, well, if I go to jail, because my mom, well, yeah, we, they, we're paying for that either way. No, we pay you. If you go to jail, yeah, you pay you for do, it. Uh-huh. Really? Yeah, you get, that's, no, yeah. mm-hmm. that's, in, that's in the um, law enforcement budget. You know well, no, no, I'm saying, but you, Fred, if you were to spend. A night in jail, do you get a bill for it? It's like a, like a hotel? Like a hospital bill? Yeah. 
<laughs> no, you're gonna That's what Alan's that. saying is that we're like, you go to jail <laughs> and you get out, they're gonna bill you for your time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they bill you for it. And they itemize that shit. Aspirins are eight. When, when you got when you get out of prison, they give you like two hundred dollars. Right. Or they actually give you money to get out? Yeah, they give you money. They give you like yeah, because you earn you because you put in your time and like two hundred dollars is like you know not time much. is money. Wait, that's well, yeah, money. Money. you broke yeah. the law. You go to jail and then I pay you to get out. Yeah. But they no wonder they go back in. They're like, shit. I make, you want to make two hundred dollars easy? Fucking two hundred dollars easy. 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 I got two hundred dollars. Yeah, all I have to do is spend uh, five years of jail and get that two hundred dollars. Worth it. Like, See, that's worth like it. it's like when you let in Monopoly, you land in jail. Yeah. Then when you get yeah, out, you get two hundred. Yeah. Go pay sure. and you get two hundred dollars. Wouldn't it be fun if we did that? If we just watched, did Monopoly on the show? I thought about filling out my bracket on the show. Y'all don't, y'all don't want that. No, I don't want that. Either. You don't want no monopoly. No. I, dude, I suck. I, dev- I, suck I devastate you. No, what you if we don't. play Connect Four? Oh, no, oh, shit. Real. I kill you in Monopoly. No, Take all your. How money. do you kill somebody in Monopoly, dude? Monopoly's like the slowest. We'll start a game. war. I'm the tank. I'm the tank. Monopoly tank. <laughs> You're the tank. <laughs> you won't be the boot. I'm the tank. <laughs> no, I'm the doggy. I brought my own piece. <laughs> You're like, it's the whole size of the whole board. <laughs> so I just turn and collect everything. <laughs> like I have this house building robot that I made that everywhere it goes, <laughs> I can think just yet. Gentrification robot. <laughs> no, so, yeah, he's go, he, he's in jail. Dude, that dude's going to he jail. got he got he got sent, sentenced, or he hadn't got sentenced yet, but no. he got convicted. Yeah, but like so, dude, the stuff he did was nuts. Dude, I don't want to like, get into all that because it's that's crazy. Bad, man. Man. I mean, you, you brought it up, so we got to get some details. Okay, well, I mean, okay, people so, haven't heard about it, so I mean, okay, do, I, I feel like anyone has heard about it by now. I don't know because if they haven't heard about it, they are living in a very small cave. If they listen to us and haven't heard about this, <laughs> <laughs> like, but so, dude, okay, so he killed his. What his wife and his, and his, son. And his son, son, yeah, on like June 14, 2021, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. On June tenth, right before that, his dad dies at eighty one of various ailments. Uh, his mm. death, well, not directly, can is you know they're like he could he could have fucked him up. Mm. So yeah, I think his dad just died. Of then on September fourth, the dude gets shot <laughs> in, on the road on the side of the road. Yeah. Uh, and he says he had a flat tire, and that's not a real picture. So, and then it was just a superficial head wound, so he didn't get killed. And he did that apparently. He, he took out a hit on himself. On himself to yeah. get. Like, now, was money. that after he, after Maggie and uh, yeah, after, son, yeah, after, yeah. after yeah, that was after, after. yeah, yeah, that, that was, was uh, whatever is the, the time between June and September. What four yeah. months? Three and a half so, months. So on yeah, September fifth, he he had been flown to. Uh, the hospital, he was fine. Then on September 6th, he resigned. He said he made a lot of decisions that he regrets. And basically, the, money. It re- the, the, the firm releases its own statement alleging Murdoch had misappropriated co- company funds. Then they suspended him, like it wasn't the next day. And then. Did you know his family, like, ran the solicitor's office, like, back to 100 years? Yeah, they've been there. Yeah, forever. They've been in the solicitor's office. His family. Yeah, we don't have father, enough time to read all the shit that's happened here. Yeah, so we were through all that over a hundred years. They've yeah, run they that fucking. Years. Yeah, yeah they, they've run they that, ran town, that town. Dude. They said like, like I, watched the, I watched the documentary on HBO, and when the son, the one that got killed, when he had the boating accident, like, right. and that girl died. His father came in there with his grandfather, like, and they were like, you could tell they were trying to control the situation. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, who was driving? No, don't say my son was driving. Just tell him you was driving, driving the boat. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Trying to get his son out of trouble and shit. Right. So, uh, like, yeah, they they fucking ran that town, dude. Uh, that's crazy, man. Yeah. So he faces 84 criminal charges and 11 more lawsuits. So anyway, he was gone for a long time, but. Yeah. That brings up, Fred, yeah. a little murder mystery of my own, not the game that I played. Ooh. But I had, okay, this is, okay, listen up, radio people. This is going to, I'm going to try and probably make this funny, but it's actually pretty tragic. 
So hooray for lightheartedness. Uh, so I'm going to change the name of all the parties involved, Fred, for their own protection. Okay. All right. So I had a family member of mine died and like a week after the dude, you know, passed, right. he was older, dude. My dad called me and is like, Hey, I think he may have, essentially, he wouldn't say it. He wouldn't say the words. Right. He was like, I think he may have been murdered. <laughs> and so he thinks that, really? the, yeah, he thinks that some of the other people in that dude's lives who are not like related to me in any way, yeah. um, may have like been up to no good and did some crazy shit. Oh my goodness. And like, but they're not going to prove it. They're not going to, they don't have any way to prove anything. How did he die though? Like what, he what died did they say to call him? Mysterious call circumstances. It'll be in the ID. Oh, no, that no. wasn't on the coroner's report. <laughs> no, <he died. laughs> <laughs> they Cause they, of death question mark. <laughs> yeah, they had a they had a heart attack, which you know does happen to people. Right, yeah. But like it was a healthy guy and everything as far as I know, but apparently like they were just they're just nuts. And my dad's like, Yeah, they probably like dosed him with some didn't you was this, was this your mom's husband or or was this my yeah, well that's what a dad the detective did at one yeah, point. The, the no, form of this, the oh, okay. I was about to say. I feel like the detective would have got to the bottom of this. He's itching for a case. Right, yeah, that's probably, yeah. <laughs> They're probably working in looking for something. <laughs> that's the thought the like, I just need to get out there and get rusty. <laughs> I can barely solve three murders a week now from my couch that I never get off of. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Press right. uh, I froze up a little bit. I'm sorry. But yeah, dude. But so, yeah. like, I don't know. And now I'm like, I don't want to. I never associate with those people anyway. But I oh, want to continue man. not to associate with them because <laughs> murder was the case should, that I was inherited. You should infiltrate from the inside, man. You should get in there and, and yeah, they they're all glass onion and shit. Yeah, man. I do. That. I'm not like, gonna glass. Get your notes like you did the last time. They probably the do think, and, you know, think. Okay, so these people, and I'm not gonna go too too far. Into <laughs> these <but> people. <laughs> this group what do you of mean, people. What do you mean, <laughs> these people? <laughs> I let me say this. I say that in the most derogatory way possible for these. <laughs> like, I, can't, I don't. I don't. I don't want to be mean to people. I don't want to like like I said to put people down. But if I'm going to put anybody in the world down, these people deserve it's it. These <laughs> folks, 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 folks. And, I, and I don't want to get this out of like so you can cut it back together and make me look like I'm crazy Alex Jones or anything. But they're just, like some people. <laughs> they're just not great, and so. They're just crazy as hell, and I, you know nothing would surprise me because of, are they hill people or something? They are. They're mountain people, and I think that mountain they, people. Yeah, they're from like they're from like Central North Carolina mountain people, but mm-hmm. they're just real. They're real, mm-hmm. not classy, and there's a lot mm-hmm. of a lot of drugs involved uh, potentially. Uh, oh, allegedly. It, allegedly. Is it, allegedly. Is it allegedly. the same people that I had that I met? Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, the, we're in when the castle and all that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's right. It's, it's those people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they're not good. People. He is right. <laughs> but like, think we, said, like we were the normal ones there. Yeah, the well, wonderful that's the thing. whites of West Virginia, <laughs> essentially, and um, <laughs> the wonderful crackheads of North Central North Carolina. Yes, yes, uh, it, it, it was. But, it was. Like, yeah. So, but yeah, like, dude, and I feel like every time I like interact with them. That they think that I'm the dumb one, the weird one. Because, yeah, <laughs> because they're like, look at him, look at him using them sentences, <laughs> and like, oh, he drove now, a car. He's fancy. Okay. He's wearing belts. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's like, he wears. He has laces in them shoes, <laughs> and he tied them up real good. He got them all. <laughs> <laughs> that boy must be from the city. <laughs> <laughs> but they're like, he drove a car. It wasn't. Like, he wasn't riding dirty on the way over here. Yeah. Know, right? One of them, the first time I went up there, he's like, hey, man, you can go hang out. He's like my age. He's like, you want to go hang out? And uh, I was like, yeah, that'd be cool because I don't like go up to that part of the world ever if mm-hmm. I don't have to. And he's like, yeah, let's just drive. Uh, and just hear you. you know, I'll just ride with you. And I was like, of course, because you don't have a vehicle. Why would you? <laughs> you have a license. <laughs> or a license potential. And so he's like, look. Let's drive pool hall over here, right? And I'm like, okay, cool. But we're like, so we're in Central North Carolina, which is not a bad right. place, but there are bad spots in every city, yeah. you know. And so he's like, so we're like going, we're driving. And I'm like, damn, we're really driving a long way for something that was only like 
two miles away from us, you know, and he's like, oh, this is a shortcut. I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. Uh-huh. So then we like keep driving and I'm like, okay. And I'm like starting to see cop cars everywhere. Pull up to this trailer. <laughs> yeah, no. And he's like, all right, so turn down here real quick. And I'm like, there's a cop on that corner right there, dude. Uh, just to note that in case you're not yeah. looking. And he's like, no, it's fine. So I'm going to say hey to my buddy real quick and then we'll go play some pool. <laughs> and spoiler alert, Fred, we never went to play pool. No. <laughs> but he woke up and his pillow was gone. <laughs> no, we'll give him no. And so, no, he got out and like, and I was like, you know what? I'm out of here, dude. Like, fuck this shit. I'm not waiting on him to get his like whatever from these dudes. Like, he got out. I'm out. You, that, that was an Uber before Uber. That was, was and, Uber. Well, and that was before, and that was before I even had like before there were like maps on your phones and stuff. Mm-hmm. And like so, I remember like driving to like a McDonald's because I found a McDonald's and like yeah. all my dad and being like, I don't know where I am and I don't know how to get back to you guys. <laughs> like, but that dude's like doing some crack. Yeah. <laughs> and and I never got to play pool, man. It was very at a mountain, at a mountain trailer, <laughs> yeah. all in a, in a town Talk, home. Talking about driving, when um, every time we drove with uh, Matt, my, my nephew Matt, we always ended up in the ghetto. Yeah, it, 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 it didn't matter. You know, anywhere we went, man, we would always get lost, and we always ended up in the ghetto. <laughs> oh, never, never fails. Man. It was like, what where, where we're at? He's like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just like, like uh, right. He's like, vacation. <laughs> when they got lost, they roll them up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once in Atlanta, I can't remember where we were going. We were going somewhere nice in Atlanta, and we ended up in the ghetto uh, yeah. in Atlanta. And it was like, dude, we, we yeah, get the fuck out of here. Why are we here? Yeah, yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yes, I agree. <laughs> well, go we're on. gonna we're gonna get the fuck out of here and take a quick break. We'll be right back. Well, that was pretty good, Alan. He segued for me. Yes, I did. So, not you. I did. He did. I did. Oh, we'll, take, yeah. we'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Quick break. With more of the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. The Black Lincoln Collective Podcast will return after a word from our sponsors. Hey, guys. Satan here. I can't help but notice that some of my evildoers have kind of slacked off since the pandemic. That's okay, because when things get slow down here, I just throw on the Ryan Hates Everything podcast. If you'd like to see for yourself what we have in store for you down here, just listen to Ryan Hates Everything. Because if you laugh at that shit, you will surely go to hell. New episodes every Friday. Now on every major streaming platform, Ryan hates everything. Tuesday. That gave me this. Like Welcome Tuesday. back to the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. <laughs> I don't care. We're powering through this fucking Easter. Easter is on a Ladies Tuesday. Tuesday Easter's on a Tuesday, man. <laughs> According to me, Easter's on a Tuesday. So just get ready for that. Jesus is going to be mad. Jesus is <laughs> Jesus like, I had bowling that night. <laughs> sons of bitches. Yeah. So, <laughs> he's standing behind you like, yeah, diggity, no, like, diggity. School. That motherfucker. <laughs> that he's diggity, diggity. Who made it on a Tuesday? <laughs> that my, that voice. Oh so, God. welcome back to the show. Of course, it's Easter chat. For some <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. It's, funny. it's Easter chat for some reason. As always, as we always talk, we love to talk about Easter eggs and shit. Yeah. Fred, where is the best place to hide an Easter egg? Up your butt. Up your butt. <laughs> well, I knew that was going to be the answer. He could ask me that. He would have came in and told it. us all where you need to hide them. Back. Yeah, we, you know, I'm sure he'll show up at some point. So, <laughs> like, kids, you forgot one. <laughs> this one's brown. 
<laughs> Somebody in the sand. So, <laughs> Somebody welcome back to the idea. show. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, it's Easter season, which makes it dead square in the middle of Whack History Month. Ooh. And this week, we're turning the Whack History Whack Pack loose on and poor Pussy, the, like his, or the Whack History Dolphin. <laughs> we're turning them loose in the world of sports. Sports. Oh, so, that's right. Sports. That's right. Did you get the graphic ready? Bam. Bam. You did it. <laughs> so. <laughs> very good. No capitalization. So, welcome back. Anyway, so, for Alan, guess what? what? We're shy in the spotlight. Square on the island of Puerto Rico for the first Black History Sports. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. Hold on a second. <laughs> because it's if Alan, do you know what time of the year it is? What's going on right now in the world of Puerto Rico? Do you know? Uh-oh. Sex. <laughs> sex. Depends on when you listen. Sex to league. It. Depends on when you listen. Puerto, to it. Puerto Rico sex league. Puerto Rico sex league, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's of course the World Baseball Classic. Oh yeah, that too. Puerto Rican sex league. I want that. I want that. Yeah. Yeah, we get a shirt. Yeah, you do. There's a piece of merch. The problem is the shirt's all sticky and stuff. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, so, <laughs> off the way, it's off the rails, Fred. <laughs> so, in honor of the World Baseball Classic and the sex league that they run in Puerto Rico, uh, Puerto Rico's fans are, shaving, are, are setting a Guinness World Record for the number of people to dye their hair blonde at the same time, I guess. So they broke the Guinness World Record for 100 and 192 men going blonde to support the U.S. territory's team for the World Baseball Classic. Alan, why did you not do that? Dye your hair blonde, Alan. Right. Uh, because I didn't do the baseball play- classic. I, I did the sex league. <laughs> <laughs> kind of the wrong one. <laughs> just like our fans. It's, just, it's exactly just like fans yeah. football, friend. Halfway through the season, he's like, do I need to set a lineup? <laughs> like, that's what he, he was like, I thought I was rooting for baseball, and I'm just like, having sex with, over here in the league, and we're keeping track of it for some reason, because that's what a My league indicates. And they're like, no, it's baseball. I was like, oh. <laughs> they're like, two balls, you're out. She's winning three to one. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, in Whack History News, like I said, Puerto Rican people are dying their hair, Alan. React to that in real time. Real time. Real time? Yes. I don't know what the, the obsession with Puerto Ricans and blondes are, man. They always want blonde. They want to be blonde. Or Is, is Sammy Sosa Puerto Rican? No, no, he's Dominican. He's Dominican. He's Dominican. He's Dominican. He's been very, very good to him. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Sammy Sosa? Dude, Dude, yeah, crazy. man. What's Shit. up with that? What the fuck, man? I'm sure Dude, glad man. he's not Puerto Rican. <laughs> yeah. Dude, is. what has he done? <laughs> You're going to put him in the racial draft. Like, give oh, him my God. No, 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 I don't know what happened to Sammy, man. I think he would like that. And that's okay. I mean, you know, but he's. No, He's it's gone not crazy okay. with it. No, it's okay for him to like what he likes, Alan. No, come on, man. Okay. <laughs> see, see, now now you know how black people feel. Right. See, Mike Me? Jackson. When Mike oh, yeah. Jackson did yeah. all that shit, you, you know what's see, up with Mike? Now you, you exactly know his dad. What white, what white people black people feel like. Right. You know. And you guys just expect it from us. But see, like, you just expect white people to be like, that's weird shit. It's no, never yeah. happened. Well, mm. I don't know. No, no, because remember that, Thomas that, Howe. and that lady, no. that lady that she said she was black, right, and, and right. it turned out right. she, she was, yeah, yeah. You know, but I think she, she, was doing it for the, she was doing man. it for the money. She yeah, wanted to get I mean, the you never, yeah. like everybody's right. got their own things that they have. Yeah, you know? I don't know why, and, and it could have been, you know, like for example, you know, a lot of them have that skin disease. You know, you do get the right at vitiligo. Yeah, yeah, vitiligo. Yeah, 
Yeah, I have it my myself. grandma. When had I get that, dark, like, when I get dark, uh, I have the spotches in my face. Really, uh, really. Huh. You can tell the difference when I'm dark. This is a whack history. Sports. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna brought to you by Vitiligo. Yeah, brought to you by Sunday lotion, bitch. Yeah, I'm not doing that yet. No. What's the most tropical thunder? Right. What's the best Sunday lotion? Tropical thunder. Tropical. What's the tropical? No, the, the the best suntan lotion is copper tone because they show the girl with copper tone. Here's a look at a butt. Put a little butt down. Yeah, and after <laughs> I, I was like, all right. I was like, you know what? Yeah. That's not right. Hey, can they can they still sell that now because of the know. butt? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what this well, has to do with black history. Butt, I thought it was the dog. I thought the dog. The dog was pulling the, the butt. The dog was down. pulling the yeah. But the it's young like ladies. a kid's butt. Yeah, you know right, saying? and that's gross. Oh. So, like, let me make that perfectly now? clear on the See, show. I was thinking the dog pulling J Lo's thing off. That's what I'm uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, That's my mind. It's J Lo, you know. So. <laughs> well, you buy your Sunday lotion. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm the one that comes up with endings when they suck. Yeah. <laughs> the ending story, story, that one, the ending to your imagination. Sunday yes, lotion, we can, uh, Parker can tell you that. We watch a movie and I didn't like yeah. the ending. I just make up one. So you never know. It. He's a yeah. tricky guy. I mean, he'll, yeah. tell us, he'll tell us about it. Yeah, and then I tell him about oh, it. We watch the movie it. with him. <laughs> he'll tell us about the ending later. And I'm like, that is not at all what happened. Yeah, but it's better than the one you heard. It's all right. right. No, I'm not saying that. But it should so, have happened. So, the yeah. number five worst trade, wackest trade in sports history was when Julius Irving was sold for $3 million. Hold up. He right. sold? He sold, sold? The, the sold guy him? who owned the Long Island Nets, Roy Bow, sold market? Dr. J. No, not, not quite. Close. <laughs> There was not a players union back then, I don't believe. Sold Dr. J to the Philadelphia 76 for $3 million. They got no pet players or picks at all. It just took the money? Took $3.2 million. Just got the money. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is slavery. Yep. Is that not slavery? I mean, it was at that time, and that's one of the reasons that they had the Knicks, the, uh, the Long Island Nets. At the time, oh, Long Island Nets. Yeah. yeah, so they uh, the Nets the Nets were entering the NBA from the ABA, mm-hmm. which would have cost them like eight million dollars. Okay, did they sell him? Right. Or did they sell the rights to his. You know, well, they sold the rights to his con. I mean, they sold him yeah, to, to the his other contract. Team. Right. Yeah. Nowadays, like I said, that's when that's probably. <laughs> but like you said, you know. that back then there wasn't a players' union, and then, right, it wasn't like then, uh, uh, like you said, they needed the money to get into the NBA. Yeah, so I mean, I get it. So not a good I mean, idea. in the long run, it's a good deal. Oh like, yeah, for Philly, it was. The Nets, the Nets <laughs> are worth like fucking billions of dollars. Yeah, sure, but the Nets sure. don't have Dr. J. No, <laughs> I mean, no but they it would have been nice for them to have him. But I understand right. too if that's if that's the difference between getting, like you said, to the big time or not. You got to do what you got to right. do. No Dr. Do J, no do. Michael Jordan. Yeah, you know, no Coffee Black, no Jackie Moon. Nope. No, <laughs> no, that kid from Teen Wolf. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Me too. <laughs> Where's he been? Teen Wolf. He sure could <laughs> play some basketball. Yeah, he was really good at basketball, and no one seemed to really care that he was a werewolf. A werewolf because they, they were winning. Yeah, you're winning. That just goes to show you. That just goes to show you how it, the real world Teen is. Teen Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So you remember the cartoon? I, I'm sorry. No, no, I don't know. Team Wolf coming out today. Team Wolf. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> I used Team to watch that in Spanish. <laughs> I can't believe it. that's awesome. Team Wolf was awesome, dude. Team, Team Wolf was, was dude. awesome, man. <laughs> like at the time, like yeah, oh, yeah, dude. People don't understand. When yeah, it was. Yeah, it's cool. And then when you find out his dad was a werewolf too. Yeah, like, yeah. Not oh, because he's a bonding moment. Yeah, yeah. Right, finally. Like, that's what we needed to connect yeah. the whole time. To. So, like, that, not to be confused with American Wolf, Werewolf in what, Paris or London or England. Right. Where there's like in six of them. Or the, the remake television show that they did, Teen Wolf. Oh, that was crap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. It, I ain't even. We when they, go when I heard it was coming out, I was like, oh, cool. And then uh, I saw the preview. I was, nah. No, that was crap. No. no I missed it, Fred. Well, you know you why I missed yourself it, lucky. You didn't miss nothing. Why'd you, you know, miss it? Do you know why I missed it? Why'd you miss it? Because of me! Oh, no. oh, Real no. life savings time! The Leprechaun! 
<laughs> oh no, is that like a new year? I snuck up on you. <laughs> and now I'm here. Leprechaun, is that you? No, it's daylight oh, savings time. Oh, it's I'm daylight savings. Daylight savings time, Leprechaun. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> So, I want my hour back. Yes, you'll time. never get it. I'm just, I want my fucking hour back. Yes, man. give me my hour back. You'll never get your hour back. And you know what? You really did stick up on me. I this took year. it to the end of the rainbow. <laughs> That's where you take all the hours. That's where all the team of years. hours go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do this accent every week. <laughs> From now on. <laughs> All right, so, I'm back. Uh, daylight savings time. Yep. What happened? Where'd you go? I'm still here waiting <laughs> on you. <laughs> I don't have time to waste. Get it? It's a time joke. <laughs> I'm the daylight savings time leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> Still, always still in our hours in the spring. I love your hours. Uh, I heard they're gonna do a Leslie Slate or Leslie's let it all blow, whatever. They're, they want to try to destroy you and, and get rid of you. What are you gonna do about that? I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna take your hours anyway. They're my hours now, Larry. You made the sun. You made the sun. I'll steal the sun from your soul. <laughs> You'll never hear me coming. Because I'm a leprechaun. I'm a wee leprechaun. <laughs> and I sneak up on you. And I take you an hour. <laughs> Twice a year. <laughs> I was at the bar. And it, I, was, it was one. It was two. It was two o'clock. It was one o'clock. And then next day, you know. Boom, it's two o'clock and they gotta close the bar down because you. They like savings, leprechaun, bitch! <laughs> what you gonna do? I'm the leprechaun! <laughs> gotta go! Damn. What the hell Damn. was that? I, got, I don't know. He's just off quick, it. man. Fucking He's, leprechaun. I don't know who he was or what happened, but. <laughs> sounds very they interesting. They like savings, so, leprechaun. So, what? what? That doesn't the? even make any sense. So the number four. Whack history sports moment <laughs> is Herschel Walker being involved in the largest trade in NFL history. What? Oh, yeah. That was when the Dallas Cowboys sent him to the Minnesota Vikings and received five, five players, three draft picks, and five conditional draft picks. In total, it involved 18 players and draft picks. Yeah, friend Jeez. of the show, Herschel Walker. That's right. And guess who won out of all that? Who won? Allen. I'm gonna uh, let Alan guess. Uh, see, uh, there's there's actually it even involved a third team. What the USFL ended up winning? Oh, oh. Hey, oh. hey, hey! Did, did oh, we, have an did say, <laughs> we have an expert. We have an expert on Herschel. 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 I'm sorry, Herschel. I'm sorry, Herschel. Hey. Herschel. Are you governor of Georgia yet? I am. Oh, 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 hey, Freddie. Oh, oh, hey. Yeah. We're getting hacked left and right tonight. Oh Lord, they're trying to get me though. So Herschel Walker, do you do you remember all the stuff that you were traded for? Man, they traded me for a car. They, uh, I got a boat. Uh, there was a little bag of cocaine, and then there was also <laughs> I had I remember a couple alligators and a goldfish. I, it was a lot of stuff that because you know Herschel Walker, everybody was, wanted Herschel Walker. Herschel, it was actually the Dallas Cowboys oh. gave you up for oh. linebacker Jesse Solomon, linebacker David Hauer, cornerback Isaac Holt, defensive end Alex Stewart. Three first round picks, three second round picks, a sixth round pick, and a third round pick. And the San Diego Chargers won that deal, other than you, when they got running back Darren Nelson. Who? They just got one guy. You know what I want to say to that is out of all them people you name, who you remember? Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker, that's right. The governor of Atlanta, Georgia, (laughs) and the state of Cala. See you. All right. (laughs) Hey, 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 Dude, Herschel just came by. Yeah, you're missing out. You always miss me out. I don't have the bandwidth. We're getting. I told. I told Alan we've been getting hacked a lot lately. 
Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> oh I shouldn't nope. have, uh, the, the opposite. Wrong one. Yeah, uh, wrong <laughs> Not way. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, Lord. I heard you guys have oh, guests on the show. It's I Whack History said, Month, Satan. I should have said, oh, Dark Lord. <laughs> oh, yes, me. The it's Whack History Lord. Month, Satan, and we're talking about sports. Yeah. Hey, you know, hey, Satan. You know what's big and dark? My penis. <laughs> Fred, we tried to stay highbrow, Fred. You know. Yes. We try. And then, then the Lord of Darkness comes in, and you can't do anything about it. Can't hey, help uh, Satan. Do you remember no. Kyle Corver? Kyle Corver. In 2003, the Nets, the New Jersey Nets, probably your favorite team. Yes, yeah, we traded. Why wouldn't you love the New Jersey Nets? <laughs> right, because you hated that guy. Yeah, they selected him with the 51st pick. Later on, they traded him for just some money. <laughs> they used that money. They, the Nets used that Love money to pay the entry trade. fee for their summer league team, then bought a copying machine with the leftover money. <laughs> that is real. Yes. Well, you gotta make copies of shit. Come on. You know, make a copy. Yeah, you know, you, sometimes you get the pictures and stuff and you make copies of it. You know, and you make yeah, copies of it. They just want to really... see they can sit their butts on it. And... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see, I have a copy machine and, and, and you know, I make copies of my penis. <laughs> <laughs> you smash it in between the door. That's like... right. The ladies love it. Yeah. You love the heat from the light. As it oh, yeah. passes by. Oh, yeah. You freak. know, because I'm all about to eat. You freak. Wait, what's that, baby? I gotta go. Um, okay, Merry Christmas uh, and Happy Holidays. Uh, Merry Christmas from my family and yours. Goodbye now. Bye bye. <laughs> so, I expect the, you, I'm not leaving. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Uh, actually, Black yeah, history yeah, continues. Let's see. Right. I love so, you. Free. I love you, Freddy. Get out of here, man. Come on. Freddy. <laughs> You're lingering a lot tonight. Stop there, telling guy. You, know you, you think he's got to cool. get his Satan. time. Satan. You're on the you show, too, smell, You can smell your butt with your right. finger, but do, do, it all you you have to, do you have to let it linger? That's right. You have to. You have to. You have to let it linger. <laughs> okay, so, bye. So, Fred, <laughs> arguably the worst trade in whack history mm. ever. Is when Babe, Babe Ruth. Ruth. Oh, was traded, look at that! Was traded to the A- or from the Yankees or the Gee. Red Sox? You know what I mean. Bada bing, bada boom. What's right. the worst trade ever? Bambuino. Okay, so they basically the Red Sox traded arguably the greatest baseball player of all time for one hundred thousand dollars and a loan to finance the No No Nanette musical. <laughs> yeah, that was the greatest or worst. The Yankees ever. and Ruth were going to win seven pennants in his 15 seasons. There. Yeah, and the Red Sox got oh. that curse. And that's yeah. and well, that was the goat, wasn't it? Huh? No, that was that, that was the goat was curse. The, that was a different no, curse. No, curse they made me know. Yeah, yeah, the bad Bambino. because they sold and, him for nothing. And you know who broke that curse? Kurt oh. Schilling, Jimmy hey. Fallon. How did he do that? Jimmy Fallon. How did Jimmy Fallon do that? The the movie. The movie with him and Drew Barrymore, um, yeah. he's a big Red Sox fan, and uh, like no, the year he no. made that movie, they did it. Nope, I'm not going to give it? Jimmy. I'm not going to give Jimmy Fallon credit for that. He did it, dude. Like nope. He won the Fallon World did. Series that year. Dude. Nope, nope, nope. Kurt Schilling's bloody sock. Yeah, all that. I remember it's that. All in the movie, dude. So you think it was all because of Jimmy Fallon and his? Yeah, I think it was. I think it was Jimmy Fallon making that movie. No, it wasn't. Wow, which was a great more. movie. It was, it was a good Barrymore. movie. I love she that movie. It. Sure. It wasn't it was Drew Barrymore. Yeah. <laughs> national she at least give it to Drew. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, so I've been going back, and because I guess, I don't know. I don't think there have been. Did you? Okay, in your opinions, Alan and Fred, do you guys think there have been many good comedies made recently? Like in the last eight years? I mean, like one or two, but not. Not like, like truly good comedies. I like Free Guy. Free Guy was funny. Deadpool was funny. Yeah. It was Deadpool, but it's more, it's more action. Right. I'm talking about it's just more like action. It's not like, movies. yeah, like. Mm. I've been going back and watching like Ben Stiller is, movies and Ben Swan and. Well, uh, Seth Rogen's like the, the guy for that right now, right? Jonah Hill. Like, yeah, but he's not yeah. like. Seth Rogen, come on. But bro. Jonah Hill's on like a dramatic streak. You know? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Like, well, but he was in that movie. Uh, uh, what is it? The where it's Jewish people versus Eddie Murphy. 
Oh yeah, like I know what you're talking which about. Which I watched I and was like, I didn't see it. I didn't eh, see it was it. fine. It yeah. was free. I mean, it was free with Netflix, uh, you know, right, right, courtesy of our sponsor, Netflix. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of nothing, oh, nothing. nothing. Um, hold on, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back One more break. Uh, with some more of the Blackwing Flex podcast. Get that finger out of your ear. You don't know where that finger's been. Hey, hey Matt. Hey, how's it going, fella? Pretty good. Have you great. heard of the Black Lake and Collected podcast? I have not. Could you tell me more about them? They sound great and hilarious. Yes. It's about three guys that just shoot the crap and just hang out. Oh, that sounds like what them. I'd like to do in my spare time. Oh, hang yeah. out with three dudes I've never met before. That's right. And they make Ooh. noises all the time. Where can I hear these geniuses of men with huge penises? I don't know. I think we've gone over 30 seconds. Doesn't matter. Just say <laughs> the fucking website. <laughs> Welcome back to the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast, episode number 84. We are so glad you joined us. Hey, do us a favor. Yeah. Tell your friends about the show. Or don't. Please. Or tell your friends not specifically. Please. Say, don't listen to this show mm-hmm. unless you want to have a great time. Yes. Yeah. That's what I would say. That's what I say to people. Yeah. Like, don't listen to the show unless you want to intimately know a stranger. That you sort of maybe know yeah. a little bit. Maybe. And then you'll find out about murders that have happened <laughs> to him. Now, I didn't give him a location, though, because that's how they catch you, Fred. That's how they get you. Yes, if you tell them exactly where it happened, <laughs> yeah. that's how they'll know where it happened. Or if you're wearing a GPS. Right, like that guy. Yeah, made perfect sense. Potato. So, all right, well, Fred, it is potato month as well, of course. Potato so, Fred, month? Fred, it's been a little while since we've revisited this, but there's been a lot going on in our area, Fred. Uh-huh. So that means it's time for another edition of don't move here news. Don't move here. Found another thing. Don't do it. Dateline. Don't move here. Bishopville, South Carolina. Oh, there we go. Dateline. <laughs> Bishopville, South Carolina. A man died after being shot in the parking lot of South Carolina Kentucky Fried Chicken <laughs> after beating someone to buy a French poodle, according to all authorities in Lee County. Oh, my God. It happened at the KFC. They said the victim <laughs> went to the location to meet with somebody to make an online sale of a French poodle. And it apparently the people tried to rob him. Like during the sale, several suspects attempted to rob the guy. They said they fired at each other. The victim was hit and taken to a hospital where he died. This is much more sad than I thought. So it was. the buyer got shot? Yeah, the buyer got taken down. He he shot died? Him. Did he even get the poodle? It he, he was his poodle, I think. Oh, so the seller got shot. Right. He went to make to meet with someone to make an online sale of a French poodle. So I would say that sounds to me like, like no. He it was, says he was buying. No, he says it was buying it. Okay. After meeting, so that's why they tried to rob him. Yeah. yeah, that's why. Oh so, yeah, the they couldn't just give him. He had the money. Like, they should have just given yeah. him a rat. <laughs> he just gave him but a like, rat. Like it's this or your life. Like which one do you want? I'd be so pissed if I was going to buy a dog and got shot. I would be pissed that I don't even want like dogs. I feel like it would be weird to buy an animal in the KFC parking lot. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I just feel like it's too close. There's too many chickens. Why not? I mean, if there's a KFC right there, there's a Walmart somewhere near. Right. You know what I mean? Like, was it like, yeah, QT, where it's like, this is a safe space. Right. Yeah. Not, what are they going to do? What so, are the QT be people So if you do, do get killed, spray water you on camera. Right. They're like, well, spray that water that we spray all the time that comes out of the fucking coffee machine, the bottom of the coffee machine. <laughs> we'll put him on the we roller gotta, grill. We got to get out of here, you. <laughs> the guys with guns are like, oh shit, QT. <laughs> I get my coffee here. I got to go. QT cops are coming. Yeah. He don't play. Well, we love yeah. I wish we could be sponsored. If we could be sponsored by one gas station, it would be QT. Yes. QT. Or Sheets. Right? Yeah, well, Sheets, sheets isn't going to sponsor us. Friend. There's not even a Sheets within like 200 miles of us. Yeah, this Sheets close to me here. Like, you oh, to yeah, close to you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you went to Bucky's? How was it? Was it a gas station? It's everything, dude. Like, but it's also a gas station. But yeah, and it's only gas? for cars. Did you we gas? did not. Oh, we well, did so not. you didn't do the whole experience. No, it's only for cars. They have like, um, you drive down the middle, they have two 
yeah. rows of pumps, and you can drive okay. down the middle. It's huge. It's yeah. fucking huge. Did you get all the, the all the beef jerky you can sure. eat? Beef jerky got peanuts. Two people in the whole store working. <laughs> No, like no, I know. I'm yeah, kidding. That's, that's what I feel like every other gas station is. Right? They're like, oh, we got everything, but there's only two of us, and we're both yeah, on the we got our, one stocking and one. Yeah, one thing. <laughs> we got here. our beaver nuts. Did you get the beaver nuts? Are they were they delicious? Mm-hmm. I've never mm-hmm. experienced them. So they they actually good. do have the beaver nuts. Yeah, they have beaver nuts. Yeah. Full nuts, yeah. Alan. They have Much like a whole nuts. wall of nuts. They have a whole wall of beef jerky. They do barbecue. They do. uh what else? Like sandwiches. I mean, it's it's insane. And merch, all the merch. They put Bucky on everything. Yeah, well, they yeah. slap. They they slap that beaver on every damn thing they can. Yeah, slap that beaver every chance they get. <laughs> yeah, slap that beaver every chance you get. They'll slap it on anything. <laughs> they don't care. That big brown beaver. He does not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hopeful that it was a great experience. Did you? What did you get? Did you get anything that you were like, oh, yeah, we got, uh, like I said, other besides the food, do they have curry? No, they don't have curry. This is America. (laughs) They have like uh, tacos. Right. No, they have have, like burritos. That's not American either. No, they had like big, big uh, brisket sandwiches. Okay. Big pulled pork sandwiches. Like, yes. Delicious, well, man. Maybe good. one day we huge. can get Bucky's to sponsor. But my wife bought a t shirt that says, because it, like, it, it, it was a St. Patrick's Day t shirt. Okay. And it said, the patty, as it P A D D. Like the party. No, the patty. Yeah. Don't start till I walk in. And it's like the beaver, like party posing. Yeah, you know I'm saying on the t- wow. I was like, okay. She's in a, she's in like a, a charity Same wall. Bed. She's like, I'm going to well, wear my. Bucky's my beaver shirt. shirt. My beaver shirt. Let me show everybody beaver my beaver. Shirt. She's gonna let her head beaver hang out. <laughs> but the I'm beaver from the back. Beaver. Uh, they're gonna see her beaver from the back. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's she great. My, she brought my son one too. So his beaver is oh, gonna be hanging in his back. <laughs> I'm not saying anything about your underage son's beaver. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny that you talk about St. Patty's Day, though, Fred, because. Well, Interestingly enough, in our other whack history, or no, what is this? It's not whack history. No, in our other not. don't move here news, don't move bit, uh, a South Carolina man in his 1950s, or <laughs> in his 1950s, <laughs> South Carolina man in his 1950s. <laughs> I'm not, my brain does not work anymore, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm He's old. in his 1950s. A South Carolina man in his 50s who had prostate cancer developed an uncontrollable Irish accent in a very rare mysterious syndrome. I'm telling Was his you, name man, Parker. The man who it might have been the man who no. Unfortunately, the man did not have any Irish background and had never been to the country. Much like they, myself, he's in his fifties. I am not. Darius. It's called foreign accent syndrome. And My name is Darius Johnson, and I speak like me. this. So how you did still you have the southern accent? It? I wonder. Did you get it's, hit in the okay, head or something? So doctors and scientists have not been able. I have not been able to fully explain how the syndrome develops in some people, but there can be, be both psychological and biological factors involved because those are the factors that are involved in everything. <laughs> uh, FAS cases have been linked to stress, trauma, brain injury, brain tumor, strokes, as well as a history of psychiatric disease. So this F-A-S? dude just woke up and they said none of the, there was no reason for him to have any of this. FAS? FAS, a foreign accent. Out of all the accents you got. Foreign, foreign accents. When I tried to when I tried to go on the doctor or whatever, Doc Jock podcast and do have FAS, that sounded just like every other time I tried to do a voice. <laughs> In that it was not good. <laughs> but so So yeah, so the guy, he just he did it, he popped up. Don't move here or you might develop an Irish accent like me. Where was he from? He was from South Carolina, Fred. Well, yeah, well, where in South Carolina? It didn't say where specifically where. He was just oh, we should South find Carolina. that guy. Okay. We, I think I'm going to say unfortunately, unfortunately, it doesn't appear that he could outrun the rainbow. <laughs> if that makes any sense. He's dead, Fred. He died. Skittles, Skittles, died. outrun the rainbow. Run from the rainbow. Rainbow that's taking you to heaven. For hell. 
because he's Irish uh, now. He passed and he 20. thinks he was a rainbow. Wow. He was in his, yeah, that's right, because he was in his 1950s. Right. Yeah, he was in his 1950s. <laughs> <laughs> a long time ago, friend. He's pretty Don't old, understand. man. He was pretty old. <laughs> Don't you understand? Wow. I'm 19 and 50 years old. Oh, yeah. Man, that would suck if I wake up one day and I have an Irish accent, man. That would, would suck. That would be fucking I would awesome. suck, Alan. I would <laughs> like to hear you do an, an Irish accent if possible. That would suck. Can you imagine <laughs> like me doing an Irish, having an he, Irish accent? He wake up with it and then just like get mad because he yeah. has it. And then oh, he's like, yeah. so mad. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> what? I started, this is doing no Irish <laughs> yeah, exactly. You start dancing the jig, and you can't help it. <laughs> like, I guess I'll wear green today. Chat. <laughs> like, I'm perpetuating the stereotype. Yeah, you just have to embrace it, man. Yeah, dude, just do it. You can dye your hair blonde and Go then ahead, dye it red. Right, yeah. Because you yeah. couldn't go back to the Ireland. Move to Ireland and be like, this is me now. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've been there. Yeah. Like, you ever heard of the Black Irish? That's yeah. a thing. Yeah. I went to Ireland and they were like, "You're American, right?" And I was like, "How'd you know?" He's like, "No, should be yeah. like, no, not you're, like, you're red, white, and blue T-shirt." <laughs> yeah, and the way that you're yelling. Yeah. 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 Well, it was because I asked for Budweiser. Who it was because of your. You you know, Ireland good. asked for a Budweiser. Yeah. Here? I did. I asked for a Budweiser. I was like, "I want, I want a Budweiser," and they're like, "American, right?" And I was like, and they went back there and they had like a, 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 know? a Budweiser, and when I got it, it had dust on it. <laughs> you got skunky beer. You I did, like man. It tasted like shit. Old. I was like, ah, I'll just have whatever you guys have. And it was their shit was nastier than our shit. So this Budweiser is from 1963, sir. <laughs> so, so quite a good to your liking. <laughs> <laughs> and all it did was rain, and it was cold, and it was oh, it was, really. It was that's pretty. All, I mean, it was pretty. And did you get to see like the hills and the coast and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, we got to see like a castle. And uh, the grass was like really green. Like yeah. Hills. hills. Yeah, we got. Did you notice well, any hills actually, while you were there? Well, it was. It was when the IRA and the other one. This is. Yeah. This is my first marriage, so this was like a long sure. time ago. Oh, okay. and, one of seven. Um, they had the east. Uh, the the between the when the war was going the two on. Two factions. So. Yeah. So we went to the side that I guess was the American. Side, yeah, I was like, which side. team did you go? Right, and then the yeah. cranberries were playing. The cranberries right. were big then. Yes. Yeah. It's cranberries right. on one side, you two on the other side. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 The cranberries were big then, but I, I, I didn't, I mean, I was more like, you know, but they knew, man. They could see us a mile away. They could see us like Americans. Well, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Americans. Oh, yeah, dude. You know, but they were really nice. It was nice. That's it, cool. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't. Well, good. Well, wow, that was a long time ago. I forgot about that. Yeah, now you remember yeah. it. I remember. Inter- Allen on the boards and internationally known. Yeah. So don't come here ever, by the way. Oh, Fred, yeah. I meant to tell you. Um, <laughs> we, okay, so go to blcpodcast.com. Yeah. Send us a, a form. We have a contact right. form if you want us to do your weddings. We will do weddings we'll, by request. We'll do, we'll Throwing do. that out there. I wanted to let everybody know we will do your wedding. I, I'm a priest. That's right. You are ordained. He is. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. He's um, a priest. Yeah, he's ordained. I'm in. Yeah. I mean, get married. I'll be like, hey, fucked up your wedding. Have Matt a good Parker. day. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, uh, still married, I, I, I'll, I'll yeah. sing at your wedding. Yeah, and right, I'll do we'll this. If you need some music, yeah. I will sing at your wedding. I'm gonna fuck up the sound. I'll do the sound. I'll do the sound. We're pronouncing man and wife. <laughs> oh, please let me sing at a wedding. I want to be a wedding singer. I want to sing. Oh, that would be awesome. Sing it so bad. What would you oh, sing? What would you like? What would you? What would you say? Sing, sing all the love songs. I would sing all the love songs. What would your? But what would be like your closure? Yeah. Like, you sing a lot with the Lionel Richie songs. Uh, yeah, you have that one that you're like. Oh, oh, um, and then we could we could do um like yeah, at my wedding I sang um shout. Of course yeah. you did. Yeah, shout, 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 shout. Yeah, I did that. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even shout, shout. shout. Yeah, let I, wasn't invi- I wasn't invited to Freddie's yeah. wedding. <laughs> <laughs> These are the things we live without. <laughs> Come on, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to you. <laughs> Man, I did, I did. Everybody wants to root over. <laughs> Happy queen. 
and Jared. Yeah, you dude. So what was that? Green, there was yeah. a what was that? It was like one of those music services, or one I I will always remember. Whenever I hear everybody wants to rule the world, I immediately think of Caribbean Queen. Because they, there was a commercial that used to come on all the time. Yeah, it was, it was the like, commercial. It was like, yeah. Right, they were that. like back to back on the commercial. Yep. I don't know what, what was, was it? the commercial. It was the commercial for. Oh, something. it was the commercial for like the CD? Yeah, like where you would yeah, get like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're like talking about. Time, yeah. time Life or something like that. Maybe. It was like, yeah, 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 or so like that. It wasn't the ones that I owe that like everybody scammed. The which one, really, uh, was that no, BMG? it wasn't BMG? BMG. It was like the compilation album, right? Yeah, it like, was a compilation uh, album. Yeah, 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 where the people are like the 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 album cover was like two lovers on a sunset beach. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Like, they, 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 show, they, they would have all the, the names of the songs coming up. Yeah. And yeah. They show one song, <laughs> and the, the song that's playing is lit up in blue. Yeah, yeah. And like, and like, like Caribbean <laughs> Queen. Yeah, and then yeah. suddenly, no, <laughs> oh, three a.m. infomercial. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the wet's wrong. <laughs> so yeah, that was a different time. But still, that all that being said, we know all those songs, and Fred will sing all of them. I will wedding. sing all of them, I'll mm-hmm. sing and we'll marry. We'll marry all kinds. Yeah, there you okay. go. Dog wedding. If it's a dog and a dog, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a dog and a cat. I don't know if I can get around. But <laughs> uh, come on, man, you're not liberal it's enough. The natural order of things. Man. I don't know. That's where. That's kind of where I draw the line. Is dog <laughs> marry a cat? Yeah. <laughs> Everything else I don't give a shit about, but dogs marry cats just can't happen. It's like a cat marrying a mouse. You know it's not gonna work out. Not gonna be. Yeah, but if you get your fifty bucks, man, who cares? When the mouse says eat me out, eat me. Fifty bucks is fifty bucks. Yeah. It's over. <laughs> <Get me out. laughs> Best wedding ever. <laughs> like it really splurges on the <laughs> on the you know, reception, which is the mouse eating the cat. Or the cat eating the mouse. <laughs> So, well, speaking of actually, that's weird because I was going to tell you about my kids, man, have been watching. And I guess we're just going to nostalgia. It's Black League Collectives. Nostalgic chit. Uh, so my kids have been watching. Thank you. That's the, exactly the sound <laughs> effect. I was hoping for that. <laughs> for that fucking thing that I just came up with it was the perfect thing. So I would, my kids have been watching Looney Tunes. Like I've been putting them on in the morning, like when they're getting ready or whatever, because I was like, oh, that's nice and like generic, a little bit funny, so they can kind of like it's cool, you know what I mean? Like light and keep get the kids in a good mood and everything. And I remember Looney Tunes being hilarious when I was yeah. a kid. They're still funny, but now right. they're funny for different reasons, Fred. <laughs> they're funny for the reasons of I'm like, holy shit, that is some racist <laughs> shit. Crazy. Like every time, and I'm like, oh, kids, I mean. Yeah. Like every three minutes in, I'm like, nope, got to watch <laughs> or whatever. Like, I don't know why. I don't remember it being that way. I remember, like, well, I never thought of it. I didn't think of it. I didn't see. Well, I remember, like, there were a couple, like, Bugs Bunny episodes where he, he did, like, the big lips and right, or the, became, the, like, the a little Chinese bone in his hair. Or, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. But, but you didn't think of it as, like, like really that bad back then, right? And now I see it. It was a cartoon. Like, it was a yeah. cartoon. I mean, it's still but like it's you're still seeing it. Out. You're seeing it through children's eyes, and then you're right. seeing it through adult eyes. So well, but like, I also have to be like, okay, kids. Whatever you do, if there happen to be kids from other countries, which my kids go to a very like crazy school with like a bunch of kids from all over the world, right? Which is really cool. But I'm like, there's kids from like all over the world. Don't. Do any of these things that you see Bugs Bunny doing? <laughs> yeah. Any of these kids? Because you're going to get kicked out of the school. Well, the Bugs Bunny wasn't that bad for me. The one that even when I was younger, what freaked me out was the the the, the, the skunk and the cat. Yeah, Pepe Le Pew. Yeah, it was like, yeah, always, yeah. It always, like, really I, it always, I was like, Pepe Le Pew mm. was a creep. Dude. I thought he was, but. When he I watched was, it, I thought he was just like a smooth operator. Like he thought he was like, a was, cat. That was yeah. the thing was, for me. It was like it's a cat with a stripe, and he's like, "Hello, baby." <laughs> you no, know that it's a dog. Yeah. He's trying to. He's just getting his boo on. Just trying to get his stank. When I was saying, growing up, my mom was like, "No means no." You know, so for <laughs> me, it was like, "No means no." <laughs> so I'm like, you know. But he did like, not take like over said, well, and when I was a kid, that's what we did. You know, you you like a girl, and <laughs> we bumped the shit out of those girls. She'd be like, "No, leave it alone." You chase her around the school, right? Yard, you had you to do what like, yeah, you, it had, yeah, that was the dance, right? You just show, trying to show that, right? 
You know, hey, like, oh, baby. I'm going. I'm efforting for you, <laughs> right? Yeah. 80s, 1980s girl. Look what I'll do for you. I'll chase you around. Uh, no, I'll throw so you, you down a flight me. of stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw you down a flight of stairs and spray all your friends with terrible perfume that I made. <laughs> and also just be a general creep all and the time. All the back and roll art that and I made. Every time you turn around, I'll be there. Yeah, no, 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 hell no, mom was no means. Start no. Every thing. time you yeah. turn around, I'll be there. <laughs> it's me. Every breath you take. <laughs> it's Every me. You Have you heard that song? No, it man. You hear that song oh, now? That song. Like, Dude. Yeah, it really. Every is. breath you, you hear take. a lot of the police songs now, and a lot of the police songs now are like. Dude, this guy yeah, was kind of creepy. Dance. He can go 15 hours, but damn, he was kind of creepy. <laughs> Little creepy. <laughs> Little creepy. Just like us. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm by the end of the show. Creepy. A lot of year, well, you're not wrong about that. So on that note, I think we're going to call it a night. Unless yeah, anybody else shit like that. Yeah. Yep. Done. Red, Red calls himself creepy. We will get on out of here. Creepy. We'll see you next week. On what will be probably the 85th edition. Oh, pros. Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't forget about that. Hashtag Done. BLC you later. Oh, there you go. Good night, everybody. Say good night, ladies and gentlemen. Good night, good ladies night. and gentlemen. Good night, oh, ladies and gentlemen. BLC you later. Right, bye. Bye. <laughs> hey. Whoa, stop looking at me. I'm going to watch the freaky. <laughs> We are laughing. <laughs> and we are very good friends. <laughs> good buddy sharing a special moment. <laughs>